JCCF News. I'm Thelma Slisher. On this season, we will be taking the magical mystery bus tour through Johnson County, searching for the mysterious missing money. I am with Becky Allen of Access Johnson County. She is going to be our bus driver as we go on our mystery tour. Wait, hold on, just a minute. We have breaking news. We just received a tip through the JCCF hotline about the missing money. Well, let's go. Thanks, Becky, for the ride. It looks like it's gonna rain, so don't disappear on me, okay? Where am I? Huh, the town of Bargersville. Well, let's go in and see why I'm here. Hi, I'm Thelma Slisher Hi. with the JCCF News, and I've just been dropped off by the Magical Mystery Bus. And what I'm doing is I'm following the missing money. Would you happen to know anything about the money? Yeah, hi, I'm Carissa. I am the Community Development Coordinator for the Town of Bargersville, and I actually do know something about the money. You can follow me and we can go check it out. Great! So why did you bring me here? So this is our Legacy Plaza. Um, it was formerly known as the Founders Fountain, and thanks to your guys' grant, we were able to insert some water features, and we have these lovely benches that honor our military members. Um, so it's just a great place for community members to come. They can read. They can also reflect on those that they've honored by placing their name on one of these bricks. Um, so it's just a nice little getaway from the everyday life. What a neat way to honor the people in our community that has served in the military. Do we have anything else? Yeah, there's actually more. Great. So thanks to a beautification grant from the foundation, uh, we were able to install these limestone benches. And they actually double as a barrier to the railroad tracks. Um, we installed a barrier on both sides for safety reasons. Um, and they'll actually be getting a new life here shortly. We will be moving the benches to Kephart Park when it's finished. And so they'll be used for many more years to come. Oh, that's great. Yeah. We have our Santa Train event in December. Um, oh. And that mostly takes place up over there. Okay. But um, we definitely don't want people walking across sure. there. But um, we also have our fall festival, and that is takes place on both sides of the road. So okay. throughout the day, people will be meandering through town. And so downtown. this helps them from cutting across. Yeah. And in case a train would be coming, mm -hmm. this would give them a, you know, a barrier yeah. to, to keep them safe. Absolutely. So behind us, you can see our very first mural in Bargersville. In 2016, the foundation launched their Color the County initiative, and Bargersville was one of three locations selected. So the mural is drawn by a local artist, and then we had a community day where the community came together and helped paint the mural, and then it was hung on the building. And we actually do have another mural that was recently put in at Taxman, um, right down there. So how can people find out more about what's happening here in Bargersville? So they can always feel free to visit our website and we're on all the socials so you can follow along with us. Um, and we also have an organization called Bargersville Main Street and they help us with a lot of revitalization and they host their own events as well. So you can also follow along with them on Facebook and Instagram. I appreciated your time today. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming. It looks like it's gonna rain. Where's Becky? Becky! Bye, Becky! So, how does the Johnson County Community Foundation support all these wonderful organizations? Well, it's because you, the donor. If you want to learn more about the foundation and all the good things it's doing in the community, check us out on jccf.org. Hmm. I'm wondering where the magical mystery bus will take us next. Well, stay tuned to find out. Now, back to the studio.